Hey guys, in this brief overview video, we're going to go over paths and a type of animation, and it's amazing. And these videos are just intended to introduce you to the tool set. More videos are coming, which is going to explain each tool, uh, etc., way in more depth. This is just to get you started so you can experiment with these tools and play with it on your own. So let me demonstrate this. I'm going to bring in a box. Now we have our box. Now I'm going to create a path. I'm going to rotate up like this. I'm going to go over here and select curve. Now I'm going to go in here like this and I'm just going to go around like so. Okay. Now I'm going to hit return and that closes our shape. Now we have this curve. You can go up here. It's on polygon. We can go to NURBS or Bezier. NURBS and then Bezier has handles and stuff. I'll just keep it on NURBS and we can adjust this out. Like so. Now we have this path. Now we got this path in this box object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my box. Make sure your select tool is selected. And select your box. Then go to your modify shelf and select follow path. Now it's going to ask you to select the path. I want to select the path we laid down and hit return. Boom. As you can see now, that snapped that box right to that path. And as we scroll through our timeline, there it goes. We play it. Now, it doesn't have to be a box. It could be any model you've had, you got in there. Anything you've got in there. If you hit the D key and bring up your display options, This is where you can control if you want smooth shaded, wire shaded, um, normal geometry, and all that good stuff. The reason I bring this up is because sometimes some people like to have their color scheme on dark. Like that. I prefer white, but sometimes it helps view animations and stuff, what you're doing depending, you know, on what you're doing. So now if you check this display background images, you, you'll get this file name and you can come over here and uh, let's find one here. This looks good and we'll open it and as you can see now we have this as a background image. And we have our little box going along our path. Now I think it's just amazing how easily I created and animated this box along this path. Super easy, super quick, and I think this is just enough to get you guys playing. Um, there's all kinds of parameters you can adjust when it comes to these curved paths and stuff. And I'm going to let you all experiment with that because um, these are just supposed to be overview videos to get you kind of oriented with how it works and uh, get in there play with the parameters see what you can come up with there's all kinds of stuff you can do but I hope this is uh, set you in the right direction see you next time